Welcome back to Dead by Daylight. Today, we're doing the Adept Blight Trophy Challenge, which basically means that I need to play as the killer known as the Blight and get a perfect game by killing all four survivors while also using the Blight's three teachable perks, which are Dragon's Grip, Hex Blood Favor, and Hex Undying. Now guys, I actually recorded this as soon as the Blight DLC came out, which I'm pretty sure was around September of 2020, so quite a few months ago. But I got a few comments of people asking me to do this Adept Blight Challenge, and also the Adept Twins Challenge, which is the next killer. So I figured I'd upload this video now, and then get to work on the Adept Twins video, which I actually haven't recorded yet, and I haven't played the Twins at all. So, yeah, that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> anyway, guys, let's get into this challenge, but I should let you guys know what the Blight's perks do. Okay, so the Blight's first perk, Dragon's Grip, basically makes it so that I can one-shot survivors if I kick a generator and then they try fixing that same generator that I already kicked. So it makes them exposed, which means I can knock them down in one hit, and also it makes them scream so I know if this perk has worked on them. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure this perk was bugged when I recorded this, so like, it worked in the sense that they got exposed and I could knock them down in one hit, but it didn't make them scream, so that if someone was exposed, I basically didn't know about it because they didn't scream. However, I'm pretty sure there was at least one or two instances in this video where I kind of got lucky and just found a survivor that was on a gen that I kicked and I knocked them down in one hit anyway. <laughs> oh no, wait, that's not luck. That's just pure skill. <laughs> okay, guys, so his second perk is Hex Blood Favor. So this perk activates when I hit a survivor with my basic attack. If I do that, all pallets within a 16 meter radius get blocked by the entity and cannot be pulled down by a survivor, which means it's free real estate and I can knock them down all I want. <laughs> so yeah, and the third and final perk is Hex Undying. And this perk makes it so that if any survivor comes within 2 meters of any totem on the map, I will see their aura Kind of like what Nurse's Calling did for me in the previous video, but this one just works if they stand near a totem, which is pretty good for me because I've got two Hex Totem perks in this build, so if they try to cleanse that totem, I'm gonna see them, then I can rush to them and whack them down! <laughs> Alright guys, enough talking. Let's get into this video and do the Adept Blight Challenge! All right, Adept Blight, let's do this. This is attempt number two, because the first time I tried to do this, the survivors just wanted to farm, so I couldn't play a real game and get the achievement. <laughs> they just wanted to farm for blood points, which is cool and all, but I'm trying to get an achievement here, man, jeez. Okay, guys, so um, I should probably explain the Blight's power. So it's pretty simple. The Blight's power is that he runs really fast. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> no, that's not it. So, he can run really fast, and um, if he runs into something while he's running, he kind of acts like a pinball, where you can bounce off of things and run faster, and then you can whack people with a lethal rush. It's uh, really basic, but yeah. So, the good thing about having a first attempt with that farming game with those farming survivors, is that I got to kind of practice with Blight's power. So, this isn't my uh, first game with him. And I kind of know how to control his uh, power now, which is good. Oh, hello! Meg, not paying attention. Alright, it's time to do the lethal rush! Oh, no, I missed the tree! I was trying to hit the tree, man! I screwed up! Not off to a good start, man! Alright, Meg. Where are you? There you are! Haha! <laughs> Not very stealthy. You should have kept running, man. Now you're gonna go on a hook. <laughs> okay. Come on, Blight. Get her on that hook, man. Ah, oh, great. There goes the boat, Jen. Amazing. Okay. 
This is going to be a challenge, I can tell. Alright. Let's go back to this gen, because it had a decent amount of progress on it. Hello? Anyone here? Okay. I thought someone was there, but apparently not. Oh man, I really hate this swamp map. Like, this is one of the most annoying maps for me, both as killer and survivor. I just don't like it. And Blight is like a really short killer too, so all these reeds, like, get in the way. If someone's hiding, like, right here, I can't see them. Okay, Meg was freed. If there was someone here before, which I think there was, looks like they ran away. Whatever. Going back. Let's try to find uh, Meg's rescuer. Which is you! Really, Barrels? You had to get in my way, man? That was embarrassing. <laughs> okay. Why is there a wall there, man? Oh, jeez. What the heck? Where did she go? I can't hear her. Oh, I screwed up again. All right. Oop, someone's over here. No! Ah, take that! Wait, what? Why did she go down in one hit? Oh, because of Dragon's Grip! Oh, wait, isn't Dragon's Grip supposed to make her scream? Why didn't she scream? What the heck? Bugged? Is this perk bugged? Oh, great! That's gonna make this even harder! Yay! Oh, well, whatever. I like a challenge. Bring it on! Bring on all the bugs and glitches, I don't care! Oh, hello. Sprint burst. I can sprint burst too! Ah! Not hit you though, apparently. Oh, I'm so bad. Get back here, Meg. I'm gonna cut you off. Once again, there's a wall! Why is there a wall? My one weakness, walls! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, come on. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I should have just whacked her. I didn't realize she was going to go that way. Oh, my goodness. Out of all of my Adept Achievement videos, I feel like this one is going the worst so far. But weirdly, at the same time, I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, Meg. Once again, it's a Meg. That's the unlucky one in this video. <laughs> Why is it always a Meg? I'm sorry. It's always a default skin Meg, too. Oh, jeez. They got three gens done. This isn't good. This is bad. This is very bad. That gen over there has got progress. I don't like that. I don't like progress. Dragon's Grip, do your thing, please. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. Okay, never mind. She's got Lithe. Lithe, take her away. I don't like being on the receiving end of that. <laughs> yeah, ha <laughs> that's what you get. <laughs> Try to lie with me. Okay. Alright, time for your hook fang. Usually I'm the bunny fang. <laughs> this is weird. Now I'm the killer, apparently. Alright then. Sorry, fang. Alright, break this. Okay, Meg just got rescued. Time to rush! Rush! Oh, hello! I saw you! I almost didn't see you, but then I saw you. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, come on! She was like crouching or something. My other weakness, crouching! Alright, get back here, Nia. I haven't seen you yet. You're new. Lethal Rush! I'm coming for you, Meg! Oh, oh, that was such a close hit. Did you see that skill right there? Dragon Script, do your thing again, please. All right. It was Meg again, too. I'm sorry, Meg. Meg is always the unlucky one. Why? Hey, hey, what are you doing there? I see you there. Sneaky survivor. Oh, she's dead. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just stop getting in my way and you won't die. And there's a wall in my way again. Oh my goodness. If it's not Meg getting in my way, it's a wall in my way. Or a bunny in my way. What the heck was that whiff? That was embarrassing. Oh my goodness. Wait, what? Where did she go? 
This Fang is very stealthy, I'll give her that. Okay, there's one of my Hex perks. Hasn't been touched yet. Which is weird, I would have thought they would have seen it. It's kind of out in the open, right near a generator too. So, this is an interesting situation. There's only two gens left, which isn't good. However, it seems like they've screwed themselves over by three genning themselves, which means that all of the remaining gens are really close together. Oh, heck yeah! Heck yeah! Skill! No, no. Bad idea, Nia, bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Very bad idea. But yeah, the remaining generators are really close together. So yeah, they're kind of screwed. Because it's going to be really easy for me to patrol these gens. And now they are in a lot of trouble. This is going to make the game way harder for them. And especially because one of the other survivors is dead now. There's only three of them. And they three gen themselves, kinda. So now these guys are kinda screwed. And this has tipped the game in my favor, which I like. <laughs> Alright, now where are these survivors? Oh, one's over there. She just unhooked the Nia. So there's two over there behind the hill. It's time to rush! Lethal rush! Where are you, survivors? I saw some scratch marks. I hear moaning. I think I saw a fang. A bunny fang. Oh, hello. It is a bunny fang. And you can't lie around here. But I can whiff like an idiot. And there we go. Ha-ha! <laughs> she didn't take advantage of that whiff, that's for sure. She should have kept running. But she just kind of stood there in the reeds. Why would you do that, Fang? Whatever. Hooked! Alright. Kick this again. Or whack it, I guess. Whatever. Most killers kick, but Blight whacks it with his little cane thing. Rush! Well, that gen is completely dead. So if any of these gens get done, it's probably going to be that one behind the hill. Because that's the one that's the furthest from the rest of them. Oh, someone's been working on this one. Apply some dragon's grip to that. Now, who's around here? Must be the one that's not injured because I don't hear anyone. Oh, hello. I heard a Nia. Hello, Nia. Okay, so I'm not sure if dragon's grip applies to more than one gen. I'm guessing probably not. So that first gen near the killer shack has got dragon's grip, but now at least this second one is regressing as well, which is pretty good. And that one near the boat is completely dead, so I don't know if there's much that these guys can do. The only thing they really can do is have one of them lead me on a really good chase, but a lot of the pallets are gone. And uh, yeah, this uh, three gen situation is really bad for them. They have definitely screwed up. Oh, really? I didn't mean to bonk onto that. Pinball boy. Alright, it seems like no one's here. Alright. Yeah, so, uh, okay. Now it seems like Dragon's Grip has been applied to that gen that I just bonked with my cane. Because now the timer is going down on the Dragon's Grip perk on the bottom right side. So maybe it means I've switched the gen now that has the Dragon's Grip effect. I don't know. I've never used this perk before, besides that one throwing game, and I barely used it there, so I don't fully understand how it works. I think someone's over here. Yep, someone tapped this gen. Gotta whack that. Oh, I hear moaning. Sorry, Nia. You should have ran. Well, your friend should have healed you, really. Or you've got a medkit, you could have healed yourself. You should have run away somewhere and then healed yourself. Or your friend should have healed you. So that's kind of their fault. <laughs> you got screwed over by your teammates, I'm sorry, Nia. You're dead now, bye. Thanks for playing. Okay, I was a little worried at the beginning of this match. Not a very good map. A lot of the gens got done really quickly. But now... <laughs> now... This is my game. My game! It's gonna be victory for the Blight! Someone keeps coming here and tapping this gen. And I'm guessing it's the Fang because she is really stealthy. 
and I cannot find the person that keeps coming here. Oh. I heard something. Was that me or was that a survivor? I heard, like, movement in the reeds. I think it was just me, though. Yeah, there's no one here, I think. I think. I might have missed them, but I think there's no one here. I need to check the other gens. I can't camp that one for too long. That's going to be a bad thing for me. Because that one by the killer shack had a uh, decent progress, I think. This one over here. Yeah, this one's been tapped again. Who was over here? Seems like someone's doing this one and another one is doing that one by the boat. And someone just screwed up a skill check, so someone is on that gen by the boat again. Someone is here though. Ah, there you are. I knew you were here, you stealthy survivor. These last two are just so stealthy and they're really good at it too. Oh, she threw down a pallet. She kind of panicked there. And I'm screwing up again! Rush! It's a bad rush though. That was a rush of shame. Oh, I could have easily downed her there, but I rushed like an idiot and screwed it up. Oh my goodness, okay. Still no one's touched that hex perk. I need to check on this gen because someone's here. Someone is definitely here. And they may or may not be affected by dragon's grip. Has hex blood fever? Oh, hello. Never mind. I was just about to say... Has Hex Blood Favor done anything for me in this game? But it seems like at this very moment, a Hex Perk is about to help me right about now. There we go. Haha. <laughs> I knew you were here, Fang. That was a very stupid thing for you to do. Lethal Rush for the win. I don't know why you cleanse that totem. Very stupid thing for you to do, Fang. Get on that hook! Okay, she's dead. Normally I slug in these adept killer trophies, but I'm not gonna do it this time because when I do, usually it takes forever to find the last survivor. So if I don't find them and they find the hatch, whatever, I'll just try again, okay? Because I think I often put a lot of pressure on myself to try and get these adept trophies on the first try but I already didn't get it on the first try because of my first attempt the survivors just wanted to farm <laughs> so it doesn't really matter anyway it doesn't really matter how many tries it takes and oh there's the hatch heck yeah now we just have to stop this Claudette from opening one of the exit gates and escaping because if she does I'm not gonna get this trophy it's gonna void it and I wouldn't be surprised if this Claudette has Spine Chill. I think both she and the Fang Min had Spine Chill. That's why they were so sneaky and stealthy and easily able to detect when I was going to show up. It just reeks of Spine Chill. As someone who uses Spine Chill a lot, it just reeks of it. So yeah, going to try and not look at the exit gate just in case she has it. Don't want to give her that advantage. Okay, she wasn't there. Luckily for me, these exit gates are really close together. That is really good for me. Especially because I'm playing a killer that can run really fast. Yeah, it sucks that he has a bit of a, like, a fatigue cooldown period, but he can still run, which is good. But for now, I'm just gonna walk. What is she doing? Is she just hiding? I think she just might be hiding. Maybe she's too scared to go to the exit gate, because they're really close together. Oh, no, she was healing. Okay. Interesting play. She's wasted her time now. She's not going to have enough time to get a door open. Oh, you screwed up, Claudette. You screwed up. Oh, there she is. Just give it up, Claudette. That's right. Give it up. Give Blight the kill. Rush! Final rush for the video. <laughs> Just had to get one more in. Okay, now can I get her to a hook before the timer runs out and the entity takes her himself? We shall see. But it doesn't matter anyway. If I hook her or the entity kills her, it still counts as a sacrifice. So if I did well enough, once again a wall sabotaging me! Walls! Why? 
Oh, man. It shouldn't matter, though. Hopefully, I should still get the Merciless. Please give me the Merciless. Where'd she go? Well, the Entity took her. Enjoy, Entity! Now, oh, there she is. Being sacrificed and consumed by the Entity. <laughs> All right, please give me Merciless. That was pretty tough, I'm not gonna lie. Yes! Merciless Killer! Lethal Rush for the win! Oh my goodness, I think that was the hardest adept out of all of the ones that I've done for the channel. That was harder than Demogorgon, that was harder than uh, Pyramid Head, that was harder than Deathslinger, and that was harder than Oni. Oh my goodness, but that was so fun though. Look at those iridescents! Oh guys, that was so much fun. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time! Bye everyone!